come to the Lord's table, and as we do so, know that it is the Lord's table. And he invites all of his children to come, and you are welcome to that. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you so much that you have set a table before us. Lord, that you have furnished it, that you feed us and strengthen us, that you pour out all the blessings of life upon us, and that you pour out your love and your mercy and your grace into our lives. We lift up before you this day as we stand before you and we sit around your table. We pray for all those who are on our prayer list, all those who are on our hearts and minds, and ourselves as well. Lord, knowing that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever, and the same God who cared and loved for people yesterday and worked a miracle in their lives, can do so still yet today. So, Lord, we ask you to reach down and work the miracles that are needed in each life, that you would bring healing and peace, and strength, and joy, that you would give guidance and direction, that you would protect and provide for each and every one. We place all things, Lord, in your hands. Lord, forgive us of our sins and sinfulness. Wash us and cleanse us, that we might stand before you whole and clean. Lord, fill us with your love and grace. Lord, as we gather around your table, help us to remember Lord, that we are lifted into your presence at this table. And there we join our brothers and sisters in Christ who have gone before us, and those around the world who stand around the table with us. Lord, thus united in you and for your presence, empower us to do your work in the earth. Weak though we are, Lord, you are our strength. Through you, all things are possible. We pray, Lord, that this fruit of the vine and this bread would be a communion in the body and blood of Jesus Christ. And, Lord, that we'd be nourished by it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he gathered in the upper room with his disciples. And after supper, he took the bread and he broke it and blessed it. And he said, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in like manner, he took the cup and he blessed it, saying, This is the cup of the new covenant, sealed in my blood, shed for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as we eat of this bread and drink of this cup, we do show the Lord's death until he comes again. We know that by the stripes the Messiah bore upon his back, as the prophet Isaiah proclaimed, we are healed. We ask, Lord, for your healing, <coughs> your body, soul, and spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. cleanse us, strengthen us, raise us up to do your work in the earth. Bind us together in your love and grace. 
and help us to show that love and grace to all around us. To those too that come to know and live for you. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, who taught his disciples to pray by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on our right as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen.